the Languedoc, uh, the region that we're in right now, the part of the Languedoc we were in is the Ode, and the Ode is probably the least populated area besides the Lozère of Languedoc. And Languedoc means uh, longue, doc, and longue means language, and doc is of oc. And oc is this area, so before um, it became French speaking, it was speak, everybody spoke Occitan. And so if you know the, the perfume Occitani, this area was Occitani, and it stretched from the Pyrenees down the south all the way up through Ode, all the way over to Montpellier. And that's how it became the, lang the, lang the land, basically, of the yes, but in Occitan, not in Northern French, which was the we. Oui. So the Pope basically told the North, Northern French to come down and basically commit a genocide of um, of all the people in the south, the Cathars, we were talking about before. And the Cathars got removed and then all the guys in the north took all of the castles and everything because the Cathars were becoming so powerful they were becoming a threat to the Catholic Church. So then that's how the name Languedoc came. And it's it's really different, um, de not so much de demographically, there's a lot of uh, retired people here from the north of, north of France and then other areas. But it has, um, it has the sea, so it has the Mediterranean, then it has the Pyrenees, and then it has, um, we're in the mountain range that's just at the end of the Massif Central, so it's going, uh, we're just north of Carcassonne, which is the medieval cité, which is the, one of the largest uh, fortresses in all of Western Europe, if not all of Europe. It's huge. Um, so that's where we are it's in a really Longa. friendly region. It's known, people who come are surprised at how yeah. there's always a ready smile. Um, people are very generous with assistance. You know, they're curious about visitors. It's not a typically, it's not as reserved as a lot of France. Uh, so it's, it's very welcoming in that sense. And it's very diverse geographically. We're in a Mediterranean microclimate, even though we're quite high in the mountains, it's still the topography mm. and the plants are all Mediterranean. So there's green oak, there are um, cypress trees, chestnuts, pine, parasol pines, and there are delicious wines produced here. Also, it has its own appellation, right? Yeah. Well, there's cabardes. Which um, is um, a really rich kind of appellation. And then there's Minervois, which is just a little bit further over, and that goes all the way over to Narbonne. There's La Livinière. There are lots La Livinière is really wonderful. The terrain differs so much from one tiny sank five kilometers to the next five kilometers, the quality of the wine and the character of the wine is different mm. in a very small period of, of distance. Yeah. And the food is typically um, took, cooked in duck fat and olive oil. The duck fat is the influence from the west of France and the olive oil is the influence from Provence. Um, there's lots of sausage and beans yeah. and lots and lots of vegetables um, because, you know, subsistence farming is a way of life here. It never faded out. It didn't have to come back. It's a way of life. People eat from their gardens, they raise their own, they have animal husbandry, you know, they raise their own animals for food. And uh, it's just, it's a very, very diverse, close to Spain also, so there's a Catalan touch mm. here and there, Catalan pride comes all the way up into Carcassonne. It's very, um, very um, you could see it as lazy, but it's basically people here, they, there's this idea of, um, in other cultures, that you uh, live to work, um, here it's they they they, they work, work to, live. to work just to live yeah and um, so you very much get that down here so a lot of the locals will have siestas after they'll have a siesta they'll have their lunch at 12 everybody has their lunch at 12 and then from let's say one o'clock till half one there's the bell now <laughs> uh, it's not one o'clock but anyway um, they'll have a siesta and after siesta then they'll go back to work so it's very much the Mediterranean uh, chilled out. And we're the last, as Kerry said, we're the last Mediterranean village in this mountain range. And so then, as soon as you go further up, it's like six degrees colder. The so, local motto or slogan is, on a le temps, we have time. Oui. <laughs> and that's the thing, you're, they're, they're proud of not rushing. They don't rush, on a le temps. They say it with, they assert themselves by saying we have time and they don't want their time taken from them. Kids at school have a two hour lunch break and it's what set in their lives early and it's maintained through adulthood. People take their time to sit down, they drink their coffee sitting, 
they they go for walks, you know, they don't they they don't rush. Thank you.